Hey guys, this video is all about how to repot a rose plant perfectly. Please note that I am going to do some videos uh, mostly for the beginners and this is the first video and I believe that people who have started gardening recently they would be helpful if, if they can get similar kind of info and that's why I am going to do some more videos along with that. As you can see this is one rose plant and I just brought it from the nursery. Please also note that this is the local variety and I, right now I am not going to grow the hybrid variety because the hybrid variety doesn't do that well in the summer season. If you buy from the nursery definitely you are also going to get it in a plastic poly bag just like me. To grow the rose plant I am going to use a pot this is the pot as you can see here this is a very big pot and it's a clay pot. But please also note that you don't have to use a pot similar to me. You can use any pot, be it either plastic pot or even the clay pot or any pot you prefer. Just make sure that you are using at least 10 inches or even the 12 inches sizes of pot. My pot is quite big and I am going to use this because I want lots of blooms on my plants. Please feel free to use any kind of pot you like but make sure that it has at least one drainage hole and if it doesn't have then please make sure to do at least one. As you can see my pot has already one drainage hole and I am going to keep the broken pieces of the clay pot on the drainage hole so that water can drain out well. And please know that this is really very very important thing and if your pot doesn't have any kind of drainage hole eventually the roots might rot because of overwatering and water should drain out from any kind of pot please remember this one and please don't use any kind of soft object like let's say a piece of a paper or even the coconut husk because if you use all those things those would get composed in time and the drainage hole might get blocked. So please use only the hard object. For the potting soil mix, I am taking this way. I am taking 60% of normal garden soil and 40% of vermicompost. Please note that rose, roses are heavy feeder. I mean we need to fertilize them too often and that's why I am taking 40% of vermicompost. Instead of vermicompost, you can also use either homemade compost or even the compost cow dung powder. My garden soil is already a bit sandy and that's why I am not adding any kind of sand to the potting soil mix. But if your soil is somewhat clay type, I mean if it's too hard, that time please add at least 20% of sand to the potting soil mix. So if your soil is clay type, that time what you can do is you can take 40% of your normal garden soil, 20% of river sand and next 40% of vermicompost. Now I am just going to mix everything properly and then you can follow me. As you can see I am done with filling my pot and while filling the pot please press the soil very gently with your hand or any other tool. This is needed to get rid of the air pockets but please make sure not to press it too hard. While filling the pot please also make sure that you keep a gap of at least 1 to 1.5 inches in between the top layer of the soil and surrounding the rim. This is needed because only that way we will be able to provide our plant the required water. And don't worry I am going to show you why we need to keep the gap there. Next it's time to take out the plant from the plastic bag. See I am just doing this way I mean holding the plant upside down and pulling the plastic bag. But if you find it difficult then simply cut the plastic bag.
as you can see it came out nicely now just remove the soil from the root ball I mean you don't have to remove too much just remove little bit amount of soil and please also note that this is really needed at the time of repotting any kind of plant and don't worry about hurting your plant instead the plant would thank you for doing that Now I am just making a hole in the center deep enough for the root ball. Gently keeping the plant in the center. And next Press the soil very gently but please make sure not to press it too hard. As you can see it's really very simple thing and you would be able to do it very easily. Everything is done and now it's time to water. Just take a look how I am watering my rose plant. And please note that just after repotting we should water heavily so that all the soil get wet nicely. And that's the reason why we should keep the gap of at least 1 to 2 inches in between the top layer of the soil and surrounding the rim. And if, if we don't keep the gap, we won't be able to provide our plant the required water. While watering, ensure that water is coming throughout the drainage hole. As you can see here, water is already coming out through the drainage hole. And please note that we should water any kind of plant especially whenever we are growing in container the similar way I mean keep watering until and unless water is not coming out through the drainage hole and as soon as you see that water is coming out that time you can stop watering and uh, from next time onward please see the soil I mean top layer of the soil and if the top layer of the soil let's say half inches or even one inch soil is dry then only water it and water it similar way the way I am doing it and this is the best uh, way to water any kind of plant at the time I mean whenever we are growing in container next I am going to keep the pot on terrace and there it will be getting lots of sunlight Please note that I am going to end the video right here because for this video my aim was to show you how you can report your rose plant the best way and you can just follow this and report your plant and hopefully you are going to get good result. But still if you want to see how my plant is doing let's say after one month or even two months then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I am going to do one other video and in that video I am going to cover all the things like fertilizing my rose plant, protecting it from different kind of insect, pests and all other things I would be covering in that video. So guys this is all about how to report a rose plant just after buying from the nursery and I really hope you found this video useful. If you found it useful, please don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you very much for taking your valuable time to watch the video. I really appreciate it. Have a great time. Enjoy.